New research shows the virus that causes the common cold can help our bodies stop coronavirus from spreading. Scientists at Glasgow University found that human rhinovirus triggers an immune response blocking COVID-19 from replicating in cells in our respiratory tracts. It raises the possibility that catching a cold could provide some protection against the virus. Professor Pablo Mercia is part of the team behind the research and we can speak to him now. Professor, thanks very much indeed for being with us. I've done my best to explain uh, what you found, but I wonder if, if you can tell us a little bit more about it. Uh, well, thank you for having me. You explained it really well. So uh, what uh, we, we studied and we published over a year ago that um, uh, human respiratory viruses interact both at the epidemiological level, that is at the population level, and at the individual patient level. And the most notable example of those interactions was between rhinovirus, the agent of the common cold, and influenza A, a virus. So we wonder whether uh, there could be interactions between rhinovirus and uh, um, SARS-CoV-2. So in the absence of epidemiological data due to all the diagnostic efforts towards detecting SARS-CoV-2, plus uh, um, the effect of the intervention measures that are stopping the spread of uh, tra natural transmission of respiratory viruses, what we decided to do was to uh, perform experiments, but we did these experiments using uh, highly sophisticated uh, cell cultures. And these are cell cultures of a human tracheobronchial cells that are differentiated in a way that they mimic to great extent uh, the lining of our respiratory tract. What uh, we did was then infect these cultures with rhinovirus and with SARS-CoV-2 and observe that in the presence of rhinovirus, SARS-CoV-2 couldn't replicate in the respiratory epithelium. And uh, we did this in different ways, uh, infecting first with SARS-CoV-2, leaving it for 24 hours, and then infecting with rhinovirus, and we observed a similar effect. And then we carried on, carried on doing further experiments to try to understand the mechanism behind this. And what we show is that rhinovirus triggers a transient innate immune response, which is mediated by, the interf the, by interferon, and that blocks the replication of uh, SARS-CoV-2. Then to try to understand the relevance of this, because our work was experimental, uh, we uh, collaborated with Imperial College London, and uh, they used mathematical models to uh, try to uh, determine what the epidemiological impact of these interactions could be. And what the mathematical models show is that uh, in, when you have high prevalence of rhinovirus, common codes, that would cause a decrease in the number of new COVID-19 cases. So, so effectively, a rhinovirus is a relatively selfish virus and, and it wants you to itself. It says there's no room for anything else. How in real life, in the real world, outside of a laboratory, could this be used to try and reduce case numbers? Well, the, the best tool we have to reduce case numbers is without any doubt the vaccines, okay? So th th this will be the main barrier for uh, SARS-CoV-2 uh, to spread in the population. Then on top of that, what we think uh, as an additional barrier, this virus will have to compete with other respiratory viruses. And we have uh, quite a few respiratory viruses that circulate commonly in the population, influenza A, B, respiratory syncytial virus, parainfluenza viruses, et cetera. Because of the measures that we've been taking, though, Professor, over the course of the last year with social distancing, with increased hand hygiene, for example, have we seen uh, rates of those common colds of influenza falling? Well, uh, yes, the, what we have seen is that the, all the intervention measures that have been put in place have uh, reduced significantly the transmission of uh, most respiratory viruses, yes. A common cold, we, we all accept it, it's, it's part of life. Um, it's also relatively short-lived, isn't it? Does, does that then mean it only gives protection for a short period of time? That's correct. So this, this innate immune response is, is a response that is triggered by the cells when, when they get infected or when they sense a viral, viral infection. And this is a short-lived response. The, the effect that we uh, 
think might happen at the population level is based on the high level, the high transmissibility of, of the, the common cold virus. OK, um, fascinating talking to you. Who would have thought we'd be embracing the common uh, coal? But Professor Pablo Mercia, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.